Hello everyone. This is Ishita welcoming you all to the online talk show Let's Talk, Let's Connect, presenting the third International Youth Summit. Today, it will be our 13th impact session on Unleash Your Potentials. Our today's sessions will highlight on how you can discover your talent as it's never too late to discover yourself. And today we are very delighted and honored to have among us Mr. Golandam Samdani from Bangladesh and Mr. Ahmed Bari from Wazda, New Zealand. So dear audience, before going to our guest, I just would like to take the opportunity to say a big thank you to our audience for being with us. And not only our audience, definitely all of our IYS team who are working behind the scene and our IYS country coordinator, IYS ambassador and IYS campus ambassador and all of our deputies. And I can see that lots of people already joined with us. So I would like to just acknowledge a few names. I can see we are, we are having Rajiv, Nasreen, Tohid, Jannatul, Mesba, then uh, Sh uh, Shabnur, Ashrafi, Asif, and lots of people are joining, joining, joining. Thank you, thank you so much. Please stay with us. And again, please share this live session on your timeline. And again, I just want to repeat today's the guideline before starting the session so that you can take yep. the utmost benefit from this session and you can learn today, learn the tools and the new skills. So first, what you have to do, definitely you need to share this live in your timeline. Then please, please, please take pen and paper with you so that you can list down your today's learning. And what else you have to do after sharing the video today, we are uh, coming up with new guideline. Like you don't need to inbox us today. After sharing this video on your timeline, make sure that it's public in your privacy setting and just wait and stay with us. At the end of the session, we will share a Google form link with you. So you just need to fill in it to win your gift. So thank you once again, audience. So let's uh, proceed. And first, I will, would like to uh, say thanks a lot to Mr. Don Sandani for being with us today. And thank he is you. a really <laughs> welcome. And he is really a renowned uh, trainer, public figure, and lots of lots of lots of adjective I can add. But we will love to have that introduction from Mr. Don. So please. Uh, Mr. Don, can you introduce yourself with our lovely audience? John, thank you, John, it's thank you like, so much. Yeah, it's like your job interview. Yeah, introduce yourself. That's the hardest thing, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hard yeah. question, yes. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, thank you so much, Ishidapu. It's an honor and a pleasure and privilege to be here. And thank you so much, Ahmed Bari Bhai. Uh, thank you for always being there for all of us in the learning and development community in Bangladesh. So as yeah. you know, that I have the most weird, ridiculous name in all of Bangladesh. It's uh, <laughs> Golam Samdani. So Golam Samdani Dawn, and especially the word Golam sounds really weird. So that's why I picked it. <laughs> and, uh, uh, most people know me as the Don, as Don Samdani. I yeah. run a company called the Don Samdani Facilitation, and basically yeah. we specialize in soft skill training. I'm a yes. certified SP trainer, a one-to-one -one coach, and something called a timeline therapist, but I don't practice NLP uh, in that detail uh, because I feel that newer theories and newer models are more relevant according to the changing times. So I, work, I have worked with about 150 clients so far. It includes some of the biggest names in the country like Grameen Phone, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Lay, Futole, Barger, Wholesale, and most of the local giants like ACI or Square or Rohim or uh, you know, Onward Group, things like that. All the big NGOs. I also work with the government. I run a national TV show in UTV called Carrier Guide, which goes on every Sunday night at 10 p.m. I run a national radio show on ABC Radio, which goes uh, live 
from 11 p.m. every Friday night. Though both of yes. them are at a halt right now uh, due, to, due to the pandemic. Uh, so uh, during the pandemic, I was locked at home, uh, fighting regularly with my wife, and I thought <laughs> I have to do something about it. So uh, in order to remain very busy, I started a live show called Live from the Living Room, which actually became uh, very big beyond my expectations. So for 53 days at a stretch, I did 53 episodes. And then I took a break, and now it's a weekend show only on Saturday and Sunday, uh, Thursday and Friday nights. So that's about me. So I have actually dedicated my life behind learning and developing, to be honest. That is the truth. My life has been dedicated behind it. And uh, everything I do, TV, radio, or mass media, or my write-ups, my books, my shows, everything is connected to learning and development. You will not see me suddenly hosting a musical program or suddenly doing something else. It's all, everything is connected to learning and development. And I'm, yeah. I have actually dedicated my life behind it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Don Baya. You just explained a really nice way. And dear audience, I, I think you can understand it's going to be a big one today. <laughs> And I can see that lots more of people are joining. Please join and stay with us. So now uh, I will come to Mr. Ahmed Bari. And before coming, yep. uh, Mr. Ahmed Bari, I just would like to mention, please, audience, if you have any question, put the question in the comment box. So uh, Mr. Ahmed, I would like to request you, please say something about today's session. Topic. session. OK. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Shudan. Thank you, jo Don, for joining this session. Uh, it's been a pleasure to have you today. Thank you so much. Thank you. And Thank you so to much. the audience, he is one of the best trainer I have seen, most hardworking trainer I have seen in Bangladesh, as well as I, I believe he will be, become a global trainer. I already did a lot of training outside also. So, And he is a multi-talented, very much, very, very, very excellent uh, person. Uh, I'm, I, I'm sure that... Uh, uh, he will lead the industry um, within the next uh, five or maybe three years after the pandemic, not before that. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> today, today we are going to have the unleash uh, your potential. We are not going to just ask and question and discuss about the question. I'm requesting we are go. Yeah, of course you ask us the question, but we try to do something, some um, training. We will give you some training components or tools so that you can actually implement that in your life. And again, do share this video uh, because we are going to give you an workbook on, Ishida, can you tell us again, the workbook on, it's a training manual yeah, as sure. well. Yeah. Today's gift is, uh, it's a training manual on discovering your passion, purpose, and personality. Exactly, this is what very important. And you can actually use that workbook or training manual to discover your potential. And the same time, Don actually ran this training program. Uh, and uh, I, if you, if you, anyone wants to join Don's program, is very. He has a very good um, uh, uh, reference on or recommendation on doing this kind of training. So you can also join uh, his training program. He runs a lot of training program. Please do contact Don to um, this kind of training. So um, I think I'm requesting everyone to just have your pen and paper ready so that we can you can take some notes. And that will be very important for today because in this pandemic situation, we need to work hard together to come up with, uh, to explore our potential, what we can do, how we can help each other and how we can help the whole uh, youth community globally. So this is very important. Ishida, back to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, uh, dear lovely audience, once again, I just would like to repeat uh, because uh, our team is saying that they are getting lots of inbox that you have shared the video. Uh, please, uh, uh, today we have just changed uh, the little bit the guideline. Uh, so, lots yeah. of people joined again. So, I just want to repeat that one. Uh, you don't need to inbox today because end of the session we are going to share a link with you, the Google Form link, where just you need you just need to fill in and upload the screenshot that you have uh, shared this video. Then exactly. you will be able to win in the gift. Thank you. OK, yeah. uh, now back to uh, down there. Uh, so yes. I would like to request uh, to just highlight on unleash your potential. So on that okay. topic, Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you, Ishita. Actually, it's my uh, most favorite topic to talk about.
out, out of all the things I say. So basically, the line of thought that I come from, we believe that Allah Ta'ala has blessed us with unbelievable, unlimited, never-ending potential. Okay? Five friends studying in the same school, sitting on the same bench, wearing the same uniform, being taught or, you know, duster thrown by the same teacher ends up in five different stages in terms of monetary or financial success in life. Yeah. How yeah. come it is happening? They, got, they are coming from similar, not same, similar socioeconomic background. That's why they are in that category of school, right? They come from the similar cultural and social background. Then how come one friend has become maybe a multi-billionaire and the other couldn't do anything in life? Is it luck? Is it just talent? Is it God's will? What is it? So the line we come from, we believe that everybody has potential, but then there are many things which hold us back. Due to those things which hold us back, some people, even in spite of having the potential, do not progress much in life. So those of you who are watching it right now with a pen and a paper, I would really like you to sort of take notes on what I'll be able to say, what I'll be saying right now, okay? So the potential is mainly blocked because of four different reasons, okay? The first reason we say the limiting belief. So what is the limiting belief? It's a belief in Bangla, we say bishash, right? It's a belief that holds us back from unleashing our truest potential. For example, if I think that I will never be the number one trainer of Bangladesh because I am short, or if I think that I will never become an international trainer because I am a bloody Bangladesh, I come from Bangladesh, so that's why I will never become an inter international trainer. Or if I think that I will never be happy because uh, God doesn't love me, or if I think that I'm not getting a promotion because my boss doesn't want me to be promoted, something like that, that is actually a limiting belief. So many of us, in spite of having potential, we think that we are not good enough, tall enough, good looking enough, able enough, you know, capable enough, too young for something or, or too old for something. And that's why we don't progress in life. That's why we don't explore our truest potential. In Bangladesh, you will see that the limiting belief is very high. People would say that, you know, I'm not getting successful. Okay, I'm not getting a good job because I don't have a reference, which is a lie because everyone who's getting a job do not get it by a reference, maybe some people. And it was more evident in my previous generation. In my generation, we actually don't value or don't welcome references. Yes, you can refer someone in a professional way. That, hey, Don, like if Bari tells me, hey, Don, you know, I know a great kid. She was very active. She was a volunteer or a brand ambassador. You know, you should hire somebody like her. And then I will take a proper interview and I'll hire the person. But I will not hire the person because Bari said that or Ishitapu said that, right? Yeah. Because then that's injustice for other people, right? Exactly. So the limiting belief is actually the number one reason why we don't progress in life. Because okay. the limiting belief. Don, before you go to the next point, yeah. yeah. So let me let me just share. It's not only in this subcontinent or Asia or in Bangladesh. It's happening every single way. Because you know that I I work in Canada. I work yeah. in UK. I found that in the youth, they don't trust them. They don't believe them that they have the potentials. So this is what the they, everyone just have the limits. And I, uh, if I, if I'm not sure whether you uh, um, open up why this is, because this actually happened when you are in the school or when it's, it comes from your family, they start right. giving you all the negativity that don't do this, don't do that. So you are gradually uh, start building yourself. Thank you, Don. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Over to Don. Bhaiya. Yeah. Back to you. Just I'm I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm just interrupt because no, 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 uh, no. you said only Bangladesh, but I I found in everywhere. You know that I I'm in New Zealand and also in New Zealand, we found the same thing that uh, people don't believe that they have potentials. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, the thing is the what the what limiting belief does, and guys, I want you to listen very carefully. I mean, the students, whoever is watching, the limiting yeah. belief creates lack of confidence. The limiting belief uh, makes you like uh, underestimate yourself. Listen, guys, when you underestimate yourself, 
you give opportunity to other people to underestimate you. You know what I mean? When you think that you are not good enough, when you think that you cannot do it, you actually justify others who think negative of you. You actually, because of self-belief and inner belief or inner confidence, we don't go ahead and get the done. We have in the halfway, among, and you know, in our society, what happens? Everyone gives you negative thoughts. I mean, I remember when I wanted to leave my Philip National Secret Gallery job, everyone go went against me in my own family, and they said, "Are you mad? Are you on drugs? Why would you leave a multinational job and start a stupending company?" And when yeah. I started, I was 28 years old. You were 28. Who's gonna do you? You blind person. In Bangladesh, all the other trainers are 45 and above. I'm also and also now. Who's, who's going to a 28 year old guy? Nobody. So everyone went against you. Now, if you have limiting belief, then what happens? You started what? Doubt yourself. Ha! Ah, maybe my mother is right. I cannot do it. Ha! Ah, maybe my dad is right. People will laugh at me. And then you don't go ahead. So, so the, for the people who are taking notes, I want you to transform your limiting belief to an empowering belief. Okay? Let yes. that. A limiting belief, like I cannot do it, I am not good enough to do it. You need to turn that into an empowering belief. For example, if I try hard enough, if I keep on trying, if I continuously develop myself, if I don't give up, I will definitely be successful. So that is an empowering belief. A limiting belief can be, my English will never be good because I am from Bangla medium. That's a limiting belief. Because your English is not good because you're from Bangla medium, it's a, it a fact. But if you think your English will never be good because you're from Bangla medium, that is a lie. Your, your yes. English is not being developed because you are not trying to develop it. Because you did not, you know, do that, that do that kind of uh, workshop, that kind of uh, exams, did not practice hard enough to develop it. And that's why it is not being developed. That is the truth. So it's a limiting belief when you say, Jibai, I'm our English developer, that's a lie. You have to, so the empowering belief would be, definitely my English can improve if I try, if I practice. Okay. So that is what it is. So yeah. I think that is very important for all of yeah. us. Can I supplement here okay. so so that yeah, people? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. and um, yes, Don, please. we have we have uh, uh, many participants, uh, from, participants yeah. from other countries. So we'll keep yeah. it like. But I, I, it's okay. So what kind of belief you have? Like sometimes we we tell, I cannot do it. The sucks yes. because most of the people uh, who are in a negative mindset they think I cannot do it, and the successful people yeah. think. I cannot do it, but I need to develop myself so that I can do it. So that this is empowering. This is empowering how you can empower your belief that I need to learn the skill so that I can do it. Then it's not for me. Okay. The yeah. success, negative people always think that and the successful people think it's not, for me. It's, not, it's for me, but I need to work hard for it. I need to, it's, I need to change myself. Okay. So this is empowering. And I'm not good for it, something like that. I'm not good for it. I don't need that. I'm not good for it. I cannot do it, something like that. So I'm not good for it. Okay, I'm not good for it. But if I try myself, if I when I develop my skill, not say right. if I develop a skill. Remember one thing, if I develop, never say if I develop. When You always say when I develop myself, when I, develop, yeah. I can I can actually, I can improve. I can, I can be like them. So never stop believing yourself and empower the way Don said it's very important. Empower your belief. Change the world. Thank you, Don. Back to you. Thank, Thank you. you so Fantastic. Much. Thank, Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. I think the one of the the second biggest uh, uh, barrier that we have in terms of unleashing or unlocking our truest potential is negative thinking. You know. Uh, everyone who are here, I mean, write it, write this down in your diary. Perception is projection. Okay, perception is projection. So whatever is your perception will eventually become your projected reality. So for example, let's take an example that Ahmed Bari Bhai, uh, when he started in Bangladesh, for example, he somehow developed a negative perception about me. 
because of his internal perception in his own head as because he had developed a negative perception everything i did sounded negative to him right everything i do would look negative to him because his belief about me his perce perception about me was already a preconceived negative perception that was created from beforehand so no matter even if i give him a cup of tea he would take it negatively and uh, ha he has come here to give me a cup of tea this must be some kind of joke maybe he's making fun of me maybe he thinks that you know it's a kind of a bribe blah 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 he will figure out everything negative about it now i am the same person he is the same person but his perception about me is positive then everything i do it would sound and look positive to him so it is kind of like you know the mother in law and the daughter in law fight in south asian countries that the mother in law sees everything bad with the daughter in law but the son sees everything good in in his wife you know but the same person different perception so a negative mindset guys will never see the positive in anything so uh if you are a negative thinker if you only say do nothing will happen in this country damn nothing will happen in my life ah this is useless ah learning training is nonsense if you have a negative mind everything that you will see around you you will see it negative that's how your brain has been designed our brain was was initially called the reptilian brain which was the 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 first human brain right. which was a uh, reptilian brain which was which was a negative brain where mm -hmm. it it its only job was to make us aware and to protect us and to do reproduction right then the yeah. brain became a bit more mature we became the mammal brain which is uh, the mammal are you know the animals which which uh, consume ma the mother's milk right mammals it became the mammal brain and the and the final the human brain is 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 in the front the prefrontal cortex frontal, yeah. which is yeah the prefrontal cortex which is the modern brain you know which we developed uh, in the modern human times where we are more creative and analytical and problem solver and our intuition is high you know so the brain by default is negative so people who are not blessed with education and enlightenment are stuck in that negative brain zone that is why you will see people with less education or countries with less education rate are always fighting are always fighting because they are dominated by the the the, the reptilian brain which only tells you to fight or to reproduce and and to protect yourself so the the inner negative voice that you hear like whenever you would think that you take an initiative and an inner voice will tell you no don't do it don't do it <laughs> the, <whenever laughs> exactly like this initiative. don't do it <laughs> yes whenever yeah. you take an initiative <laughs> the inside the negative brain will tell you do not take the risk you will fail you will <laughs> fail and you want to approach the girl that you like right in your university in your college there's this really hot girl really hot guy you want to approach that person and say that hey would you go out with me would you go out to have a coffee with me in in north end or starbucks and the inner brain will tell you no you are not good enough they will reject you you suck so you know uh, so that's the thing <clears throat> this negative self talk that uh, <laughs> that negative brain is the reptilian brain so guys listen if you want to be successful in life you have to change the way you look at things okay so you have to be an intentional positive thinker there will always be the glass half full right it will yeah. be half full and half empty so you have to deliberately and consciously look at the glass as half full not half yeah. empty and and when you start training your brain to see the good and positive in everything slowly and steadily you actually train your subconscious to see the good in everything once after months and years of this regular practice of becoming a positive thinker your subconscious actually becomes more positive and then you get to see more and more opportunities like for example um everyone uh, is really suffering right now because of the corona pandemic but some people are progressing i mean my main primary source of income 
was the the corporate training right and then i also do large events like rise above all 1000 people 2000 people yeah. event live yeah both of them are stopped and heavily hit so now will i sit home and cry no i'm trying to see the what positive thing we can learn from this pandemic and i've already learned not to keep all my eggs on the same basket and to have a diversified income source and to and that i should have been in digital before which i did not because i always believed in the tony robbins style of live physical training and 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 song and dance and all that kind of thing which i copied from tony robbins uh, style but then i see that no i am actually a uh, backdated so now i am you know tying up with 10 minute school and i'm on sadik and sheba platform and launching online co courses and training which i have never done before so this yeah. opportunity pandemic i mean every crisis is an opportunity in this guys but when will you see the opportunity if your name brain is negative so that's what i'm saying guys let me repeat perception is projection so you must have a positive perception about everything when you have a positive perception about things you will see opportunities if you have a negative perception you will only see the problems right so it is important to always be positive as much as you can in every situation even in the in the bad situation you ask yourself what is the good in this okay let me repeat even in bad situations like now corona you ask yourself what is the good in this and definitely there will always be a learning even within the bad things in life and you must go ahead and move forward mm -hmm. taking the learnings from the bad things bhai bhai would you add something yeah. yes uh, yeah i i think this is uh, the global thing that um i think most of the people like they actually focus on negative things negative. whenever you have any negative encounter you just excited with this because you don't have the emotional intelligence to think yourself control yourself and then to think okay this is negative happening and what can we do so like for this uh, platform don i'd like to share you we we have scheduled this uh, uh, conference or the summit in malaysia this uh, march and unfortunately we could not do that because of the pandemic situation situation so we are just thinking how to help the people how to help the year because this is our one of the flagship program and for the last 6 year we are running this program and we have done lot of uh, youth camps and others youth exchange program in different countries but people you see that many are just focusing on negative whenever they got any negative information they rather judging or rather look for the authentic information they just act on the negative thing so this is what actually everywhere the toxic when you have the toxic because you see when you are negative and you can you have to see that this means that you have all the toxic toxic uh, negativity in inside you so be careful about this thing it will destroy your life because everywhere whenever you potential and you see anything you try to find out what is the negative just you don't see the positivity you try you come somewhere you try to okay why is why what's happening why uh, uh, somebody uh, or don is wearing this or why amit bari is doing this so you try to focus only then rather than what we are discussing what are the um, good thing we are talking about you are not listening or you are not try to observe because your mind is totally blocked and you are completely yeah. focusing only the negative things so before going for the next uh, next thing um ishita can you take some question i see very yeah. beautiful some of the very yeah. beautiful question Lots yeah lots of question coming and it's just going up 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 okay the first question i can i can take from archana shaha she said that what can what can we those who have no confidence oneself for the people of one society like uh, if we don't have the confidence on ourselves then how can we grow that okay uh, over to uh, don bhai first <laughs> so basically listen i mean we all are not confident in everything right um i might be a confident public speaker or a corporate trainer but i'm not confident in flying a plane for example right or doing a dance <laughs> so <laughs> what we need to do is basically practice i mean listen i mean um everything in in life is practice as malcolm gladwell in his book the outlier said that anyone can become a genius in anything upon the completion of 10000 hours of practice this is absolutely true 
I mean, when you practice and when you keep on doing the same thing, the skill set becomes part of your body, like your blood, like your hands. It be become natural, right? So, for example, if you look at the Indian cricketer Saurav Ganguly, there was one shot that uh, he was very weak at, like the that reverse swing or that's what what's that called? I'm, I don't know. So that one shot, he was very weak. So he used to always get out, and he was never good in that. So what he did, he started practicing that shot only. And after months and months and months of practice, he actually become one of the best in the world in that shot. Yeah. So which is a very interesting story, which which you can tell to people that you might be weak in something and lose confidence in in something, but upon thorough preparation and upon sustainable practice, you can actually become very good in that. Once you become very good in that, you automatically become confident. The confidence does not come from inside. Some people would look at me or Bari Bhai and say. Oh my God! You guys are so confident. The way you walk, <laughs> the way you look, and speak in front of 500 people. Oh my God! I wish I had that. But they don't understand that the first day we held the mic, we were like, <laughs> "Hello." <Yeah. laughs> absolutely right. Absolutely right. People don't see that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, people only see the success, not the misery behind it. They only yeah. see. They are like, for example, they sometimes some people tell me that, hey, Don, you are an overnight success, but they didn't see the 12 years of work behind it. Yes, to make exactly. it look like an overnight success. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's exactly. how you gain confidence. Exactly. exactly. Thank you. So, may I, uh, may I supplement? Uh, yes. May I Can supplement? Uh, because, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, because it is, it is important for you how you develop your confidence. Yes. So, just think because i believe you all are adult here so just start believing that you came to this world with very like this is your when you born in this world this is your first success because you your birth is as a fight of success it's a, it's a story of fight of success so go to the national geography and see how okay <laughs> this is one thing N number two is when you start walking this is your su success when you start talking this is your success try to find out your small success don't just on it most of the people are thinking of well, it should be like i should be like these people i should be like this no start start finding out and of, of course you have to note it because most of the time we don't note we don't take we don't have much time i'm i'm sure that we, um, for Don, for me, and some all everyone who are become become at least some sort level of success, we actually work out. We actually write, write, write. We write our plan. We we just go. Oh, let's go and do something. No, not like that. We just write. We plan, and then we execute. This is the way. So, to be to improve your your confidence, you must start writing. What are the what are the small successes you have, and then gradually what are the medium success you have, or what are the um, uh, semi medium or then the big medium so something like that in your in your academic life maybe you are you are in the back danger doesn't matter and you are crossing the next level so you if you are in the uh, seventh grade and then you move to eighth grade that is your success whether you're back venture or front venture doesn't matter that is your you count on that success so every time you count your a small success maybe you are good in sports uh, and you just uh, for me, just giving you a, one example, like in my school life, um, I used to play very good football and cricket, but um, it's very challenging because a lot of other people also play very good. And uh, so this is very challenging for us to get. So get opportunity. When I moved to the university, um, I was in the back, like the, in the cricket team, I was in, I was not even offered to come forward to play. Uh, just first year, first year and all the senior uh, brothers are there. And then who, who used to open, uh, I'm basically a batsman, a baller, not the batsman, because my, for, due to my height, I'm, I'm usually, but I was not like that much fast to do the first bowling. But for my height, I, I can do better bowling. And I got like, but there's a, less, at least 10 ballers better than, much, much better than me. So when, but I want to play in the university cricket team for my department. And suddenly, one uh, our opening batsman he got um, hurt in the during the practice session. So the uh, my teacher said like, who wants to do the uh, opening? I see nobody is taking the opportunity. I say, I can do that without having any opening experience, without having any batting experience. Trust me, this is a real story. 
I just took the opportunity because this is the opportunity to go and play for the department. And this is very prestigious. I know this is very prestigious. And I played for the first day. The first match I did in the 30 over, I played 28 over. It's like a test match. Like everyone is afraid, afraid. And I was so excited. I didn't know that I am a very good batsman. I always focus on bowling, but I'm not, I never focus on batting. And I become for the five years, I'm, I, I'm sure that many of my friends are watching this thing. For five years in the department, I played as the opening batsman and the university gave me best openers for the cricket team. So this is what you have to think yourself. You have to put it, you have to find that and you have to believe yourself. When you mix all those things, you will Thank become you. successful. Thank you, Ishida. Okay. Any other? Thank you. So uh, I would like to take uh, just a question. The question came from Ananna. She said that when I hear motivational speech, I decide I do all of this. But in work, I cannot do this. What's the solution? Okay. Over to John, down there. So, so motivation is like having a shower. Exactly. Right? Just because you had it today, and then you say that, okay, for the next three months, I will not have a shower. Then your boyfriend will run away, right? <laughs> so what you need to do is to do it regularly, right? Yeah. So basically, why motivation doesn't work is one, uh, people don't get it regularly. Two, they would be motivated, but lack the skill set. To run the motivation. I mean, what will you do with, by being motivated if you don't have basic skill sets? Like if, if English is not good, if you don't know, you know, basic uh, Excel, Word, and PowerPoint, if you don't understand basic digital technologies, if you don't know how to Google effectively, then who's going to come and save you? No motivation will work if you don't have minimum skills. I'm not telling you, I'm not asking for rocket science, but I'm just saying a minimum skill that we expect the youth to have. If you don't have that, no motivation can save you. Plus, the other thing is most people don't remain motivated because they don't have a long-term view. They don't have long-term yeah. goal. Uh, yeah. Because I always get demotivated very much. Nowadays, in the pandemic, I get demotivated every other day. I, I just don't have energy. And I don't feel like getting down from my bed and doing stuff. But then again, I get back down, uh, back up, and then I start doing a lot of work because I have an end goal. I have a vision. I want to be the greatest trainer, speaker, and life coach of Bangladesh of all times. That is honestly my purpose. That is honestly my goal. So every time I feel down, maybe I'm down for two days on the third day, I would again come back thinking that I have to achieve my long-term goal. Mm -hmm. And uh, this won't happen if I lie on my bed, hugging my uh, you know pillow. That won't happen like that. <laughs> exactly. So, so this, if I, if I, if I supplement with, yeah, Don, you finish? Yes, yeah, I'll finish. Yeah. OK, so let me just uh, supplement one. I was in Canada, then I came for a few days work in Bangladesh as a corporate head. And then I finished a uh, role there and then I moved to New Zealand. And when I moved to New Zealand, I thought like I have MBA, I, was, I served as a CEO. I have done so many successful things in my profile. So I'm, I'll go to New Zealand and I'll get a job. Mm -hmm. One year, no job. <laughs> One year, no job. So because <laughs> wherever I send, wherever I send the application, they said, we don't need the MBA. I, I've yeah. done my MBA from UK. We don't, we don't need the MBA program. You are too much qualified for this. You all serve as a CEO. So, and I came back to, you know, that position. I asked for the university that, uh, can I work as an administrative officer at the university? Mm -hmm. So this is what actually happened. But I, I was received reviews because the way you think, but how this we overcome this thing because we they say it like john said it's a vision it's a plan we we see that no all right this is the challenge i cannot do this i cannot do this. what can i do so start exploring what can you do and this is why our mind because our mind are totally i'm sure that i talked with don and i'm sure that we are same like we see positivity we see we know our vision we know what we want to achieve in our life we know what yeah. to do with our family members. We know what to do for our country. We know what to do globally, how we can contribute because we value ourselves. We value, we see positive things. So um, how, how you develop your vision, very fantastic thing. Don said, that, oh, sorry, vision by confidence, that thing you have to, or negative, overcome your negativity. You have to have the vision. You must write your vision. 
and rewrite, rewrite, and then you must print. I, I am sure that I, I teach this to uh, many university students uh, many, many times, and especially um, I, I'm telling about Zanatun here, Ishita, and I yeah. show him how to design, how to develop the vision. It's a called vision, vision board. board. Maybe yeah. Don also know that vision board. You have to have the develop a vision board. Yeah. That's mean in a page of paper, you write it down or add some picture, photographs to make a beautiful vision board that you want to see yourself over there. And then put yeah. in your room, put every morning, every night, everyone will see that this is your vision board. So this will keep yeah. you focused. This will keep you focused. If you just think something, and of course you, the next day, next morning, you will forget. Even when we finish, because if you don't exactly. write it down right now, when you finish this program, you completely forget. You go to the exactly. channel, you maybe watch TV, you may, may have some good time with the family members and others, and then you totally forget what we are saying. So must write down your vision. Yeah. It could be several things. What you want to see yourself after three years after five yeah. years, after 10 years, after 15 years. And also next week, tomorrow, what one thing you want to change? What one thing you take decision not to do from tomorrow or yeah. improve yourself? What one thing you want to improve yourself from tomorrow? And then what will be the next week? One thing you want to improve in, in your next week. And then this month or 15 days, month, then within three months, what you want to develop in three months? What skill you want to develop yourself? Three months then what your plan for six months what skill you want to develop for? what what is the planning so these are very important and this is why we're saying these are the impact session please do write it down what we are saying or share this video try to help and okay. by just just for uh, ishita just taking a sure. second yeah what will cost you what how much it will cost you to share this video just tell me <laughs> just tell me and this event, this platform, we are giving you all the training materials or the training manuals free of cost. Can you, you can't imagine how much expense, exp like we charge for this corporate training manuals. And we're giving free to because we understand this is a pandemic situation and we want to help as many as people as possible, whether it's from Bangladesh, whether from Nepal, whether from India, whether from Nigeria. We have a lot of people are now working with us. And this is what. We don't care, we do because the theme of this summit is leave no one behind. We don't want to judge negatively to other people what they're doing. So yeah. be yourself, think yourself positively, then you can change. So must develop, must have your vision board. If necessary, we'll do another program on vision board. Exactly. Ishida. Thank you. Sorry, we Thank take you. a lot of time. Yeah, uh, yeah. I want to oh, take the question, but before taking the question, I just remember an interesting thing. Like you mentioned about the vision board, right? So when yeah. I was a student, I learned that uh, from Mr. Ahmed Bari, and I used to make the vision board because I had the dreams you know, to go New Zealand for higher study. And I used to keep all the beautiful places of New Zealand and hang on my wall. And even my desktop uh, picture was uh, the New, New Zealand scenery. And people used to laugh at me. How come? How come you will go? <laughs> Okay, first I also hesitated, but later on I made that. We will talk about that later on. I brought that topic because I can see lots of questions are coming regarding the decision making. Sometimes they feel really confused. So how come they can take the proper decision? And that one, in, I want to add one more that is from Shamima. She said that suppose how can I take the right decision for my future education where my family wants other and me one. Okay, over to Don Vaya first. <laughs> Do you want me to answer this question first or finish yeah, that yeah. Uh, two points first? Okay, ah, so no, no, basically, no. anyway, yeah, it's up to you. Okay, okay, so let me answer that question first. So, listen, guys, I mean, our families always want the best for us. I mean, exactly. I was both life, you know, fighting with my parents because I was a rebel, but now as I'm getting older, every single day I understand my parents were always right. So, uh, you know, take it from me and uh, Bari Bhai and Ishita both are laughing because they both know it's true. So, I mean, you know, as we are uh, went through more trial and error in comparison to you. So we know for a fact that our parents are always right. OK, so this is number one. Number two, even though they are right, sometimes due to generation gap and digital divide, which is a technological gap, they don't understand the reality of things. 
right? Exactly. So, for example, I, I was putting a status a few days back. I don't know, Bari, if you have seen it, that our whole life our parents have told us to become a doctor or an engineer, and we thought they are stupid. That why do we become? The, why do we need to become a doctor or engineer? And now during the pandemic, we are seeing that the doctors are the most important people, and the yeah. engineers who are making you know like the software engineers who are making digital apps or running yeah. the internet for us or making all these things for us to, to become safe are actually more important than any other profession so our parents have been right when they wanted us to become doctors and engineers so that's one thing so uh do, so as i was saying even though they are right they might be sometimes misinformed due to technological and generational gap so it is your job to go and make them understand now what will you make them understand number one what are you passionate about? You exactly. must make your parents understand what you're passionate about. And on the first round, on the second round, on the third round, they will not understand. But you need to prove it to them. You need to really show them that you are passionate about that thing and you are doing extracurricular activity and a part-time job and many other things related to that. So they have a reason to believe, reason to believe or proof of performance from you that you are really passionate about what you're saying. Number two is, what are you good at? So having only passion is not good enough. Passion will not generate income for you. You must be very, very good in what you do. You have to be the best in the world in what you do, and that is very, very important. So number two is what? What are you good at? And number three is, what will pay you? What will make it a sustainable career? Because if you are not getting paid, you cannot be so you cannot sustain listen when uh, in the aeroplanes you will always see that they will tell you that if there's a jerking or if there's a disaster always pull the oxygen mask first and put it in your mouth first and then you help somebody else right yeah so absolutely so if you yourself if you are not earning then you will not be sustainable and you don't have the ability to help others so you must become successful financially in your in your own terms so the, these are the three things right how you make your parents understand and how you yourself also choose the right kind of career a something that you love and passionate about b you are also very good in it or you can become very good in it through training and coaching and c yeah. there has to be a market or you have to create your own market like in bangladesh i had to create my own market uh, i when i started i thought i was second generation but then after a few years, I realized I am actually the first generation, um, <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately. And uh, so yeah. I had to do many things like uh, no other trainer had a book before me. No other trainer yeah. had a national TV show like me. So I, I yeah. thought I, I'll take, have some advantage, but then I was deeply in disadvantage and had to start everything from zero. So you have to create yeah. your own market. Okay. So I think exactly. that's my answer. To you yeah. yeah thank you exactly. thank you uh okay uh Ahmed, i would like to one question then i want to come back to you again <laughs> okay the okay. question uh yeah, from... I like sure. for example tasneem alam Ruponti is saying my parents yeah. want me to be a doctor but i really want to be a journalist from heart i can't say they're wrong but the fact is i am not interested in being a doctor so how can i show my passion i have already taken courses of journalism but i really don't know how to express my qualification, I am nervous, all these things. So listen, I mean, uh, you need to yeah. make them sit with you and you need to have a very matured conversation and, and then you need to tell them that why you want to become a journalist and what is the income source or the other advantages that a journalist has and why you don't want to become a doctor, what is the logic behind it. And then you show them a plan that you want to become a journalist, this is where you want to go, this university yeah. you want to study, and you start writing part-time in, in Dhaka Tribune or Jugantar or anywhere right and then you also start your own writing blog and start writing different stuff on the blog and then you show it to them that you yeah. see I, I i already have a blog and there are yeah. 2000 subscribers i write every week uh you know in my statuses are like a journalistic status uh blah 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 and you show them a right career plan they want you to be a doctor why to have a good career and a good life. So if you can show them that being a, in, in Bangladesh, for example, I'm assuming you're a Bangladeshi. In Bangladesh, we know journalists are poor. I'm sorry to say that. But we mm. think our perception is 
that a doctor will be super rich and a journalist is poor. <laughs> but if you yeah. can show it to them that even being a journalist, you can have a great life, I think they would be motivated. Yes. Mm. Thank you. Okay. Can I can I supplement yeah. because it's just sure, just sure. for a quick quick supplement. Um, yeah. Look, first... The question is like almost same like that. Can I take that? Can I add that question yes, with this please. one? Yes. Yeah. Add yeah. it. Add it. So, add the question. <laughs> so the question uh, from uh, Radia. She said that I'm a future pharmacist. I'm too much interested about marketing sector, but many people discourage me by saying it's not suitable for female. Can you please tell how can I made up my mind? Okay. Amit, please. Okay. Thank you so much. First of all, uh, we have to believe one thing because as a, because we are also parents and like Don and me, we are parents and we actually have concern about so uh, our 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 kids. So your parents have very good concern. So just start believing that they want to see you successful. They're not your enemy. This is the first thing. Second thing is uh, I, I was taking a training in the Nepal and uh, one uh, lady came to me and she said, uh, I want to She's studying the social welfare or social works. And she said, I want to be a dancer, but my family don't want it. She's very good in dance, like up to her uh, HSC level of the 12th grade. She was she's very good in dance. But now they said, you don't need to dance. You just focus on the study and become a successful in your order. So I, I asked him, just talk with them. And you can come like a, a adult to adult talk or have a very good conversation why you love this dancing and and why you why your parents are wants you to do this uh, um, pursuing this academic degree and they work out and after one year because i was following her up and after one was uh, she said that now everything um, good she can now focus on the study and also she's enjoying the dance so as a doctor as a pharmacist whatever your uh, profession academic degrees they, Look, there is uh, like uh, I know so many uh, doctors who are actually journalists working as a journalist, and for it is better when you have a you can serve your family member, you can make them happy because if you go for a confrontation, you don't your mind will be really challenged. So you talk to your parents as the way Don say, but at the same time you can you can try you can balance both. If you want, you can balance both. You can you can start writing. Uh, some medical journalism. You work on the medical journal. There's a lot of medical journal. You read them, extract the information, and then write in Bangla or translate whatever the English, whatever, and then send to the newspaper. So you can do that both in the same time. So your parents. But once you have the very good blog or something that you have, you can see that your your passion or um, your what you are planning actually working. Then talk to your parents. And sometimes you know that having because if. I'm not sure whether you are uh, going through the government institute or the private university. It's a lot of investment. So your parents actually don't want to see that you are failure. So balance yourself. I think it's possible. Talk to them. Balance yourself. You have plenty of time to study medical science. At the same time, you can practice your journalism, same to same. But again, it is you up to you. You are the best person to take the decision. We are just giving you some ideas. This is the thing. We are not saying you have to do it. It's just, it's an idea. So you can you can work on that. And uh, whether it's pharmacies, look, this is what happened in Bangladesh or in many other countries. Like New Zealand is the first country actually get the voting right for female. And so this is happening like uh, when we talk about the female leadership, we, we become really scared. When you talk about the black president, we are scared. So when you come to this industry, people will see because they don't see people that they can do this kind of work. So you could be the leader. You could, if you have the passion, do it. But it's totally up to you. We are just, we are, we are just sharing our ideas and don't focus on other people work, because other people they because they are not successful. That's why most of the time they will see you, uh, tell you the negative. Or maybe they are successful. I'm not saying that they are not successful. Maybe they are successful. But follow your passion. When you love something, do something from your heart. You will become successful. So th that is the landmark. And when you become successful, these people will say you have done very good job. Thank you. Okay. Ishita, back to you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Ahmed. Uh, so the next question I would like to take from uh, Rajiv. He said that, mm -hmm. sir, would you please give us any suggestions about soft skills development as this is a digital era right now? So I got uh, the same question from several people. So over to uh, Mr. Don first. Mm -hmm. Don, uh, can you repeat the question? So they ah, he wanted sure. to know. Yeah. 
about the suggestion uh, okay. for the, how to develop the soft skill. Yeah. Okay, so guys, listen, a uh, few things. Number one is soft skill overall is the most important skill in your life, okay? Uh, there are different researches which show that technical and functional skills will get you up to a certain level, right? So what is a technical skill? Like, you know, how to do some sort of things in a technical way, right? But yeah. the soft skills will get you on the top and will sustain you on the top. So what is soft skills? Skills like how you can communicate, how you can negotiate, how you solve a problem, how you uh, sort of uh, think outside the box. These are all soft skills, right? So emotional intelligence, being intuitive, this can also be classified as a soft skill or human skill. Yeah. Now, this is very critical for all of us. In, in schools and colleges across the world, especially in South Asian countries, you will see a lot of focus is being given in, in technical skills and functional skills. But they don't teach us you know, how to solve a problem or how to work in a team or things like that. But then in our job life, in our entrepreneurial life, in our corporate life, every day what we do is uh, only solve problems, honestly. The whole day as an entrepreneur, what I do is solve a problem of a client, of my team, of something that is happening all the time. And the whole day what I do is communicate and negotiate. Negotiate a deal, communicate and solve a problem, uh, motivate somebody, empower someone. And then empowering also requires communication, giving a feedback, talking to a client, trying to sell a deal. They, these all require communication. But unfortunately, we are not being taught communication in school. The science and commerce and physics, and, and all these things, but why isn't there a course in communication? Why isn't there a course in you know solving a problem and thinking outside the box? I just don't understand. Even in yeah. the university level, they're, they're not there. So this is very important, guys. You know, so learning soft skill will 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 actually make you a leader. Will actually make you better than many of your other peers or your competition. So this is one. Number two is uh, in the digital era, now in Udemy, in Coursera, in Google Garage, there are so many courses which are free. Uh, Udemy and Coursera, $100, $200 courses are now available in $10 to $20. In Google Garage, there are uh, around 150, like uh, less than 150 courses which are absolutely free. In Google Garage, yeah. there's a digital marketing course which is a 40 hour course with Google certification completely free. This is an opportunity that we are having in the pandemic. That in Udemy, if you go, you will see a $200 marketing masterclass course, which is a 52 Wait. module, which is huge course, is in $20, less than $20, $18. Can you yeah. believe a 52 module course, which is net worth $200 is now in $18. So do it, man. Just go and do it. And once you register, you will register now at $18, but you have a validity of maybe a six month or a year. The prices will again go up. So this is an opportunity that you should take. And in online, there are so many resources which are free. I'm sure uh, Ahmed Baris Bhai also has a lot of platforms in, yeah. uh, in, the, in New Zealand, in his company. And we are giving courses and we are done some learning. We are teaching English and Excel and many things yes, exactly. which will if, if you go to this name, this is the page, you will see all these courses. So basically, A is definitely you need to develop soft skills. And this is the most important skill set that you can develop in your life. It's going to help you both in your personal and your professional life. And B is definitely in the online, you can do it. And also offline, you can do it. Yeah. yeah. So Ishida, yeah. can I just, yeah, yeah. I know that you, you have some I, more questions, yeah. but I, no, I no, promise that I will. Mm -hmm. I, I promise that I will say something about the how you get the certificate from this set uh, when you complete the summit. So yeah, this is for everyone. Listen very carefully. And I know you are now busy with other things, watching TV and watching the same time you are holding your phone in front of you or somewhere just having the thoughts. First of all, please do watch the impact session because we, we can give you the certificate, doesn't matter. It's, you can have a thousand of certificates from online, yeah. from offline, or you can even print for yourself. But if you don't learn something, this is what, if this is a platform you have to learn. And I can see that many of say that I don't understand what to do. I, I don't know how, how I can set my goal. Uh, I'm frustrated. I don't know how to do this. So for a few minutes, deep breath yourself, please deep breath. Because I know after this comment, whatever, like you are putting your comments and then actually leave. 
you, I'm sure that many of you all might leave or might not leave. Anyway, if you are here, just breathe yourself. Yes, you don't know how to set your goal. Yes, you don't. You are confused. Yes, you are frustrated. Yes, you are. You don't know what to do. A lot of things. Start pointing out first. Write it down. This is the first most important thing. If you think everything in your brain, your brain will hack. Because think about if I run five, six, seven program at the same time with this laptop, I'm sure that my laptop will hang, and I cannot. I cannot present this thing. So this is very important. So focus on the. Write it down. What are the question you have? Just write it down. Want to you you are you don't know how to set your goal. You are frustrated, or you don't know um, what you are going to do, or what subject you need to do. What are the whatever the question? Write it down, please. Do if you want to. This is the impact session. I want you to listen very carefully how we can change your life, and these are all can help you and help you to overcome all your challenges and fears about to become a successful person. So write it down and all the question then. Take plenty of time. At least this, at this moment, you. I'm sure that you can manage time. If you sleep, that will not work. Balance your life and sleep and and work. And at least give one or two hours for identify the question. What are the opportunity you have? What are the opportunity never comes. People say opportunity in outdoors. No, you have to open the door for opportunity. You have to create yourself. You have to you have to see how you can act with the situation. And that is called opportunity. So. For you all to get the certificate, you must complete at least 50% of the uh, of the um, uh, impact session. We are now almost because it's 13, and this is one third. We have done one third, one third, one third of the summit, and yeah. we have 39 scheduled speaker, and then we have some more speakers will join because so many people are wants to contribute here, and we, I love to welcome them. And we talk, we'll talk about the CV, we'll talk about the vision board, we'll talk, about, we'll talk about how to build the confidence, corporate groomings, corporate etiquettes, so many things that is very much important for you all. But beside that, this is another thing. You will get the certificate, no problem. When you finish, we'll send you a feedback, again, a, a link, and you need to just give your feedback, what you have learned from this impact session and how you actually want to plan. Because we don't want to just throw, because in, in, in I, I see so many things are happening in this in internet era or digital era, like people just attending some program and getting certificate. It will not work unless you have designed your plan for the next 10 to 15 years. So our one important question will be from this impact session, how you gonna plan your life for the next 10 years, 15 years. So, so that after finishing this event, we want to see that many of you are very clear about what your goals, you improve your confidence and you know what to do. And we are here to help. The second compliment yeah. or uh, additional things um, for Dawn and for me, we just don't just attend free sessions. Free stuff are good, but free stuff are not actually workable because when we get free, we don't value them. So. I'm requesting everyone, Don is a very good trainer in Bangladesh. If you are from Bangladesh, do online uh, attend um, uh, his training program. And if you want more, because we are planning to work together and bring more beautiful training program for you all, it will be very much nominal fee, very much nominal to just cover our administrative cost. And both of us running um, uh, a lot of things we have to do. So I'm not pushing you anything. I'm not saying you have to do it. It's just a suggestion. When you actually paid for something you actually value, you actually value the course and that actually gives you more strength and you can learn even better. If you spend a uh, paid session with Dawn or with me or jointly with us for three hours or four hours a day, I'm sure that we can we can help you out with this, uh, with this um, solution uh, like this. more, we gave you more uh, workbook content tools, how we can design your goals. So this is very important, and I'm sure that we can help you out. So, uh, and we are, we'll do on online platform, but it's still, it's not, we are not selling anything to you at this moment. We're just giving you an idea. We are not doing anything right now. We're just giving you an idea. So you take preparation, what you can do, but first you have to write it down. So you, you will get a certificate when you at least complete 50% of the impact session, that's when you need to go cover at least 20 plus, and then you can actually give idea what actually you want to do. And uh, we are, we already have finished one to 12. You can see those video in our Facebook page. 
go to the video section or scroll down to the video section you can have the video please do share just don't keep yourself another question good question how big ishita how big your um heart or your mind six inch four inch or that don how big your mind or your heart no, not the physical heart i say like heart it's big or small yeah it's uh, why, uh, yeah uh, yeah exactly why you just think only mm -hmm. for us if you share this video and if someone get benefited from your video yes when you share this video so many people are in bangladesh or in asia or in in globally are suffering at this moment why yeah. don't we take initiative why don't you become a leader by sharing this video you can even come forward to talk about this video and or what you have learned today and share in your in your facebook page uh, look i have done this uh, impact session uh, last night and i have i have learned these things so your friends will get benefited so don't limit your belief don't limit because you you should have a big heart to share your information the more you share you become master you one day you will become um, a trainer like don or uh, some more like you maybe are who knows um, uh, tony robbins who knows so do not limit your belief do not just do not be miser to share this video these are very important share this video watch it one one time two times three times the more you watch it you can understand what we are talking and give your time because this is mostly our videos are or that we we run the live show for one and a half hour mostly so you can spend one and a half hour to identify what maybe at this live moment you are not able to share or focusing everything so take your time for tomorrow morning or tomorrow evening or any time best suit for you take a piece of paper and pen pen and paper and then write it down what you have learned from here and then write it note from every impact session we give a lot of information so that it will help you so do invest on you the more you invest i'm sure that don invest on himself that's why he become one of the leading trainer in bangladesh i invest on myself that's why i become successful so this is very important and i know ishita in, uh, invested and ishita didn't say one thing when he when she developed sorry when she developed um, her uh, vision board i think the first resistance come from the family member isn't that yeah true yeah so this is be careful of and how you fight that how you fight that uh, it's Overcome. like again i will uh, like say the thing uh, what mm. you and don have both mentioned that yes i didn't fight with them i tried to sit and talk to them and yes. why i want that and what's the purpose behind that and what will be mm -hmm. the outcome for achieving mm -hmm. that so finally i was successful to make them get agree like make them agree yes i want exactly. to go abroad that they give me the permission yeah and don yeah. i i'm not sure whether you know that i am a backbencher i'm coming from bangla medium i start my education from a primary <laughs> school and then i go for the uh, all government schools and everything my english was terrible and still i believe my english is terrible but i have the confidence so the thing is i don't care about uh, the accent i i feel that i need to communicate with people and from very early childhood i believe that myself i i will work with the foreigners and over the time now i actually recruit the foreigners that's the best thing i found that my to myself yeah. like if you have belief and that actually give you huge return and i have spent a lot of uh, money uh, at, if you, i if i say that is nearly uh, in bangla taka or in, in um, because the indian rupee bangla taka or nepali these are almost same is nearly 30 lakhs uh, nearly i invested uh, that, that's been like 3 million uh, local currency i've invested to develop myself and skill development and everything so you see how much you need to invest on you so i'm not i'm not saying that and trust me i lost my father very early childhood and i was really in financial challenge and really 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 terrible financial challenge but i just invest over that time i'm not saying that i actually i i take loan from my girlfriend and and do that one training program and no, for that job. reason yeah that <laughs> for that reason you know that for that reason she actually left and because her family said a, when a boy take money from your youth uh, he never become successful so you must not have the relationship with him so yeah. this is this is the struggle we have done and i become in that training program i become the best trainer 
um, yeah. and this is why this is this is important. So I'm not saying you go and lend money, but <laughs> just have some money, invest some money to develop yourself. Free free stuff are good. There's so many free stuff are in the internet, but do invest and do yeah. training program with Don. He's the best. Trust me, he's the best. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Amit. Uh, uh, so uh, I will just take maybe a few questions because uh, now it's a rapid fire round. Rapid Don fire has round. Uh, another program, so we need to yep. just, uh, <laughs> he will leave within next 10 minutes, something. So, okay, sure. okay. Mm -hmm. rapid fire round. The first question I'm going to take uh, it's oh, sorry, it's went up. Okay. The question uh, from Maria in every interview, there is a common question asked that why would I select you for this position? How can we express ourselves in this case? So over to so, Arda. So basically, uh, it's a thing called PES, PES, OK? So the P stands for personality. The E stands for experience or extracurricular activities. Yep. The S stands for skill sets, OK? So every job is looking for the perfect PES to match with their job description. OK, so when you go for that uh, job, try to understand what kind of person they're looking for in terms of personality. Are they looking for a happy person, a serious person, an outdoorish person, a big thinker? What are they looking for? The, what kind of experience and extracurricular activity they would value? And what kind of skill set that does the job require? And then that is step one. Step two is to analyze your own PES. How is your own personality? What kind of experience and extracurricular activities have you done? And what kind of skill sets do you possess? The third step is basically to match their PES with your PES. Because now you will have the ability to understand whether they will yep. take you for the job or not. If the PES don't match between theirs mm -hmm. and yours, they will not take you for the job. So when you answer the question, you answer accordingly to this. That there, mm -hmm. sir, I have understood that for this job, we require this kind of skill set, which I have, da, da, da. You would value that kind of experience or extracurricular activities, which I have done, blah, 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 blah. And also, this kind of job would require this kind of a personality, which I also have. And make sure when you answer, you also give a proof like they would ask you, are you a team player? Everyone would say yes. But then no one would say how you are how? a team player. So you <laughs> have to yes. say that, yes, sir, I'm a team player, or I'm a problem solver, or I'm good in communication, and then give them a proof. So you tell them that when I was in university, I was an executive member of the business club. Under the club, I organized five events. During those events, I had to work with a team of 50 players. Uh, team of 50 people, which proves that I am a team player, something like that. So that's how you should answer, and that's how you should prepare. Yeah, it. Same for the IOS volunteer, uh, country coordinator, ambassador, and the campus exactly. ambassador. When you are working here, actually, this is what we already t tell you. Like, this is an opportunity for you all, and you have to work on that. A lot of resistance will come, a lot of negativity will come. You have to deal with that, and this is called team player. You, If you are a good leader, you know how to deal it. You, a good leader, search for the genuine information, not just ask, what this, what that, what I'll do, what I'll cry, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. No, just search for the information and then deliver, because that this is the platform to develop your leadership skills. Yeah, yes, Ishida. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, OK, so the uh, next one came from Samira. Mm -hmm. Sir, how to maintain advocacy in my way of talking so that my parents can understand my point of view? <laughs> OK. No, I, don't point of view. I don't understand the question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like I think she mentioned that, like, what should be the way yeah. to talk with the parents? Can I answer that? Can I answer yes. that for you? Yeah, sure. okay. Sami yeah, Samira, Samira, the thing is, is, like, we have three stage of ego stage is child, is um, parents, and adult, adult to adult. When we are actually pointing this thing, this is when we talk as a parents. When we just, I don't know what to do, this is a child. And when we talk adult to adult, we actually been confidence and then we talk to the other person so when you have confrontation like most of people we do react not act we always react we don't act we don't take right. action we reaction we give reaction to the people so when you have the challenge from your family member um, you don't need to instantly you don't need to talk with them you just 
listen to them because this is another good skill to listen because they want to listen what they want to say. They don't want to tell, they don't want that you follow everything, but they want that you at least listen. So most of that, when the parents say, I want you to do this and your work is to, you know, it should be very frustrating. And when we actually point finger, our brain actually shut down. So this is what, so when you have the shutdown brain, you take breathing. So, and just try to listen to them. And they're always think there must be some good reason they are saying this kind of thing. When they are finished, everything, they, when, if don't inter interfere or interrupt, because the moment you interfere or interrupt, they will bust it. I'm your parents, you have to listen to me. So this is the thing. So you just listen to them first and then mom or dad, please sit down. Can I talk to you like an adult? This is what, and when the moment you say that, I'm like in Nijera, I'm sorry to use this Bangal language, but the things, can we just talk like an adult? Can we That's just good. talk like an adult? This is very important. The moment you talk like that, your parents will realize that what they're doing, they're not doing it in the right way. Maybe they will not listen to you. You go back to your room or take your place and then come back some other time and ask, can we talk to, talk like an adult? So this will actually help um, you to say what you want to say. Yeah. Actually, then, but but I, 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 I studied media and communication yeah. uh, from yes. a very small university called ULAB in Dhaka. Yes. So yes. My parents are Dhaka. Yes. As you know, I'm, a, yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm from Puran Dhaka. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Time, right. Mm -hmm. So my parents are not very well aware of what's going on in the private university sector and all that. So yeah. when I told them about I want to study media, journalism and communication, they said no. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. then I made them understand over and over. And then finally, I took them to the campus physically. Okay, so when we went to the campus, they mm -hmm. saw our director who was from Australia and yep. they talked with him. And then they saw my other faculties from Janginagar and Hakan University Journalism Department. And then yeah. only they understood. And I told my parents, see, I don't enjoy maths physics, mm -hmm. chemistry, mm -hmm. anything to do with math, mm -hmm. accounts, mm -hmm. accounting, finance. I don't like it. I don't enjoy it. So why should I study something which I don't like? In BBA, mm -hmm. there's a huge portion of finance and accounting, which I don't want to do. I want to do you know, other stuff. But I don't also want to do arts. I want to do something else. So I said communication is something very good. Let me study it and come out with a good result. So that's yeah. the problem I made to them, that let me study something which I enjoy. And I give you mm -hmm. my word that I will come up with a very good results. And I know that you study any subject, but if you are the top in that subject, you will have a job. Yes. <laughs> if you're very good in that subject, you will yeah. have a job. Yes. So exactly. the last thing I will tell you is my father told me one thing. He told me in Bangla, let me tell you, and then I'll translate. He told me, Baba, you are the one who is Yes, So that's my father told me that even if you become a what's much English key, Schumonger. Like the person who makes shoes, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> my father told me that even if you are the person who makes shoes, try to become hotter, <laughs> right? If, if you, I think it's too longer, Naki. Bari bhai, much English ki? Much shoe om. Bak, bak, bakler or what? I forgot. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm missing shoe longer. I'm missing you. I'm missing you guys. Muti, muti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Butler yes. or yeah. cobbler. Someone is saying cobbler. Yeah, cobbler. Yeah. And exactly. So he told me that even if you become a cobbler, become the very mm. best cobbler in all of the world. Exactly. Even if you're a cobbler, you are still a millionaire. So that's mm. what I remember. Cobbler. And that's what yeah. Dhakaya, my Dakaya father told me. And I which I still remember and still follow that even if you are a sweeper, you are the best goddamn sweeper in the country. Yeah. And you own a sweeping company with five thousand sweepers, uh, mm -hmm. and you you know you create impact. So something like that. So that's exactly. The, that's exactly. The very good yeah. Yes. Okay. So 
Yeah, yeah. quickly because John will finish. So let's let's finish very quickly. Is there any important question? Thank you so much. The audience are giving all the suggestion. I think. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, Ishita, can you just tell how they will get the gift training manual for today again, and yes. then, yeah. Uh, okay, I'm just uh, just last question. I want to take the question. Uh, what if I lost the interest in a passion only because of thinking that maybe I'm not I'm not much potential. So what can I do? Like if I think that I'm not. <laughs> don't 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 don't. Then then I'll I'll supplement. Don't if you want to okay. add something. So basically, the um, basically, if you lose the passion, then it means you were not passionate enough in the first place, because there is no way for you to lose the passion. You see, I, I, in my television and radio shows and live shows, I've interviewed so many people who are the best in their field in music, in sports, in acting, in politics, in business. And I see that their their focus is like a sniper, at them targeted focus, right? And they yeah. don't look here there and lose interest and focus. I mean, if you are passionate about something, you would know. Sometimes we don't know know it. Like even when I was a university student, I always wanted to become maybe a filmmaker or maybe work in an agency. I never thought that I would become a corporate trainer. But one thing was that I was always passionate about creativity, doing something new, connecting with people. So that's why every job I thought in my life always had people in it. But I never knew I will become a trainer. But then in the circle of life, in the hey, in Bangla we say the jibone chalar pote, right? While we were, while I I was running in my life, I had a disaster. I got shot. My car was hijacked. And that inspired me to leave the yeah. Philip Morris job at the training company. So I didn't know that would that this would happen to me, but then I discovered it on the way. So for you people, you guys are all young people. You don't know actually right now what you will do in your career. And, and it is absolutely okay to not know, but you must at least understand that if you are a people person or not, if you're more analytical and indoors or you're more outdoors and more energy, if, if sales attracts you or you like marketing and creativity, what attracts you? At least this you need to know, even though you don't know the exact career that you would land into. But you must have some idea and you must act accordingly. What I say that it's very important to understand what we are good at and what we are passionate about and choose, a, uh, choose subjects accordingly, choose a career accordingly and do everything accordingly. I mean, like, listen, if you are a baller, don't try to go and bat. I mean, I would always say that. Many people might disagree, but I always say that find your core competency, find your strength area and play in your strength area. That's what I would always tell people. The thing that you don't like, they're not, they're not comfortable, you're not confident, you don't feel the passion, you don't feel the kick. I mean, why would you go and study that? And why would you build a career on that? It is like slow poisoning. It's like dying every day in that goddamn office. Because you go to that office and you don't like the job. So don't do it, guys. We have only one life. Let's not mess it up. <laughs> yes. Let's yeah. not mess it up. Yes. Uh, just okay. a quick supplementary that uh, uh, I, I yes. can see that many were saying that I cannot speak English. But trust me, even you write down five sentences, I appreciate it. You are good in English. Believe that you are good in English. Yes. Don't fear. Just don't fear that you cannot. And some are saying, some are saying that uh, speaking local language. Again, I'm saying that just for a few minutes, you try. Our English are very general. We are not native speaker, and our English is very easily understandable. Yeah. So when you have plenty of time, or take a time to listen this session again. The more you listen carefully, yeah. the more you will understand gradually, because our brain will start telling you, don't listen. You are a loser. You cannot do it. <laughs> you cannot become successful. So. You have to you have to okay. fight those mindset and you you can focus whenever you focus you become successful and regarding when you are saying that you study this and that but you are not interested uh, again uh, in 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 a academic sense it, it uh, like in the academic whatever we have done I have done uh, a study in biology then environmental science and my pro pro profession I moved to the uh, MBA and I teach as an MBA teachers I uh, work in it. Uh, mostly in management and marketing areas, and I teach so, so many things. So you can shift anywhere as long as you live with your passion. And finally, and if you are not right, you when you say that you are not, you are losing your things. That 
I will say that it is not your right passion. So look for it, look for the right passion. And deep down, you ask yourself how, how you want to see yourself after 10 to 15 years. There you will see what actually working. And then you can okay. you will find your passion. Yeah. Zana, thank you. We thank must, you so much. We finish. Yeah, uh, we finish yeah. Uh, because yeah, uh, we, uh, we must need to leave uh, down there right and now. We, we will actually yeah. receive all the uh, feedback and we'll go for a yeah. question answer session later on. Yeah. Later Some on. Other, okay. other session. Yeah. Yes. So thank you so much, uh, Mr. Don and Mr. Ahmed, for being with us today and give your uh, valuable time and audience. No, no. Definitely. I forget one thing. <laughs> Would you like to take selfie with, uh, with uh, Don? Go, is she that? Yeah, go, go, yeah, go, go, yeah, go, yeah. go, go. What like, do you need uh, to do? See, yeah, here now, is take, take selfie can with Mr. Don. Don. <laughs> so we can take a selfie with Mr. Don. <laughs> yeah. So here we go. This, this is the life. This is the way we have to take now selfie, the, the virtual selfie. Yeah. So go and take virtual a selfie, selfie with John. Yeah. OK, thank guys. So I think yeah. you're done. OK. <laughs> <laughs> and thank yeah. you so much. And Thank okay, you. for giving us the time and audience, uh, I'm going to share the link in the comment box. You can see that uh, link I have shared, uh, the video you shared. Uh, just uh, take a screenshot and upload there and fill in the form so that mm -hmm. you can uh, win the gift. And we are signing off from here today. Hopefully, we will come back soon with another new topic with a new guest. Thank you so much, Ishida, everyone. Still, we have so some time, I, right? We have. I, we have, uh, yeah. I want yeah, to. Don, you want to you I want to sure, sure. but uh, before leaving, can I say a few words? Because I have yes, read please. all the questions. Please, yes, sure, sure, sure. I thought Bayer needs to uh, leave. That's why I was in uh, a yeah. little bit in right. Okay, no, thank you. So I have read all the questions. There are, I wish I could answer all of them. Exactly. So um, let, me, let me give you certain tips before I go to all the people who are watching very quickly, OK? So number sure. one, and you listen to this very carefully. In, when the life is over, you can again rewatch it because this part would become most important. Okay. Yes. Exactly. So yes. first, so first of all, you need to. Um, there's a music coming from somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh -oh, because we are okay. at the last bit. No problem. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Carry on. Carry on. No, no, no. Carry on. Carry on. No, it's not. It's carry on. Carry on. Yeah. Okay. So the first thing is, guys, listen. Number one is you have to believe in yourself. This is number one. You have to have confidence in yourself. How do you have the confidence? If you de develop the skill set, then you will have the confidence. How to develop the skill sets? Do training with Bari Bhai, do training with me, do training online, do whatever you want. Watch 100 YouTube videos. There are a lot of resources in the website. Read some books, get a mentor. Having a mentor is very important. And that's how you develop the skills. Many people are asking here how to develop English, how to learn this and that. Listen, the only way to learn and to become very good in something is practice. So yes. you can, you know, you, you, you know, you can watch 100 videos in YouTube on how to improve English. There are free preposition and other English drills in the website. Go and do them. Read English newspaper, watch English movies, listen to English songs. When when you sing the song in your mind, in Bangla, we say gun gun kora. That's practice, yeah. right? So that's how you develop English yeah. and anything in life. Excel, yeah. public speaking, presentation, anything in life. If you want to become good in it, you have to do practice. There is no other way. There is not. There is no magic formula. There is no shortcut. You just have to go with it, and you have to. It is just like you know playing cricket or cooking or singing. Yeah. You become better yeah. in practice. So speaking mm -hmm. in English, learning good presentation, being a good, better public speaker, or whatever that is, needs practice. Okay. So um, the other thing is you need to, of course, follow your passion, but maintain your parents as well. Your parents are a stakeholder. In life, you have to manage stakeholders. In the future, your boss will become a stakeholder. Your customers will become a stakeholder. Then your social body, your, you know, your uh, in -laws. In -laws become a in -laws. stakeholder. Yeah. So you yeah. have to manage people. You just cannot run away from them. So start with your parents. If you fail with your parents, you will fail with your boss and with your customers and with everyone in life. So sit with them. It will not happen in one day. It will take time. Show them that you are serious. Show them that you are passionate. Do stuff and get stuff done. OK, listen, Robin Sharma says ideation without action is delusion. OK, so you have to take action. So you have to go and show them what you have done already. And then they will let you study the subject that you are. 
Now, even if they don't like to study the subject that we're passionate about, like Bagi Bhai had studied something and now he's doing something. I studied something and now I'm doing something else. So you can exactly. st still study whatever you are studying, but you can still practice your passion in the weekend at night and do something about it and show people around you that you are really passionate about that. So I'm sure Tasan Bhai or all the big musicians did not study music. I mean, they yeah. studied something else, but they practiced their passion and now they're big musicians or artists or sports stars or things like that so you have to uh, be like that and the other last thing i will tell you is to improve your friend circle i mean don't hang out with losers don't ha hang out with drug addicts don't hang out with uh unpassionate non-passionate people yeah i mean don't hang out with anyone who pulls you down always hang yeah. out with people you are bet who are better than you there's a saying that if you are the smartest person in the room you are in the wrong room Right, so you have to be hanging out with people who are better than you. That's why I hang out with Bari Bhai because he's in a better position than me. I don't have any time for any losers in my life. To be very honest, I am a in Bangla I say shattopor. In I am selfish. <laughs> I have only one life, and I want to live a great life. So exactly. I am telling all of you the same thing: live a great life, hang out with intelligent, cool, successful people. Don't hang out with drug addicts. Don't, don't hang out with losers. Uh, people who don't want to do anything, don't want to become anything, don't want to become somebody, don't hang out with them. Stop wasting your time for, with them. Do the breakup right now, right here today. Uh, you don't yeah. need the negative person in your life, right? And, yes, and exactly. above all, I mean, keep on learning, right? That is yeah. the last thing. Keep on learning. It's, it's a lifelong thing. Uh, don't limit your mind to your bachelor's, your master's, and your MBA. I mean, your MBA and these degrees mean nothing if you don't have the skill set. Post COVID, you will see a rise of skill based recruitment. People don't have yeah. time to look at your degree. They only want to know the yeah. Baikasta Paranaki. Do you know yeah. the work or not? That's it. Yeah. So the focus exactly. on skill set and continue exactly. to learn. Thank you. Good night. Everybody. So um, only few, yeah. few, three, three, maybe three, three uh, comments from me. Avoid negative people. One thing you can take a decision that I'm not going to have friends with the negative people who share. And if you think that when people say sharing negative things and you get excited, then you also are a negative person. So try to overcome this that thing that overcome or uh, remove uh, negativity. Focus on positivity. Think, believe, believe yourself that you are come here came to this art for some good reason. So don't. I, I was so sad that uh, someone uh, like the one artist, like the very popular artist, get suicide. And I said, like, uh, this is not the living is life. So don't do anything stupid uh, things. So focus, learn something new, <laughs> learn everything, learn every time because and hang out with the right people. Hang out with the right people will make you successful. Give you the right age uh, to become successful. Thank you so much. Ishida. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you once again, both John, of you. Yeah. <laughs> and thanks a lot to our lovely audience. Okay, uh, audience, don't uh, don't worry about the link. We are posting the link uh, again because you are commenting, so the link link is going up, 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 and you couldn't find that. <laughs> so yeah. and so we we are going to post it again after the live. So thank thanks once thank again, everyone, so and we are signing out from here tonight. Bye bye. Thank you. Um, for people who want to be in touch with me, they can get in touch to the Don Samdani page. Don Samdani, yes. Exactly. Spelling, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube. You are Instagram. everywhere, Don. You are everywhere. <laughs> Just have to start your name and people can find you. And Don, thank, thank you. you so much for uh, you. giving your time, valuable time to us. And hopefully, we are as we planned, we work together. Yeah. Inshallah. Yeah. Thank you so much, yeah. guys. Thank you, Kutabu. Thank you, Bari Bhai. I'll thank see you, everyone. Bye. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Bye bye, everyone.